friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kate Anwar. This is a really quick chat slash rant video. Um, basically, I'm gonna get straight into it. So I went to the hairdressers today. I just, it was really spontaneous. Yesterday, Patrick was like, oh, you know, I kind of miss you with weave now. It's been a while. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, okay, it has been about, <clears throat> it's been about a month since I, or just over a month since I last had a sewing or a wig or anything. So I thought, okay, I don't mind. Let me go surprise him, get my hair done, blah, blah, blah. The salon that I usually go to, the ladies away on holiday. So I thought, you know what? Let me just go to my B place. I've got like an A place that I go to for my relaxers, but then I've got a B place that I don't mind going to for sewing. So I was like, yeah, let me just get some hair, go there, whatever. So I went there, I got there in the early afternoon. So I knew it was a bit risky. When I got there, it was packed. I was like, no way am I gonna wait for this. So I checked another place that I'd heard of um, that do hair pretty well, and they were packed as well. So I was like, oh, this is just getting long. Let me just leave it till tomorrow. So I was walking, walking. I still had a few other things to do. Then I came across some next hair salon that I'd never even dreamed of going to before. I wasn't even too sure that it did hair in there. So I thought, oh, okay, let me look in here and see what it's like. So I went inside. It's one of those places where like they do nails, eyebrows, and then at the back, you see the people that do hair. So I went in and I was like, oh, um, you do hair here. And then there was this man and he was like, yeah, go around, go around, there's a woman, she's free. So I was like, okay. So I walked around, bearing in mind I had the kids, so I had this big old buggy, then I had Kiana as well, but I just made my way through, made my way through. And then there was this lady. And then she was like, oh, you want weave, what style? And I was like, oh, just the middle part, but with leave out. And she said, oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine, come and sit down. I was like, um, how much is it? And she was like, what hair is it? I was like, sorry? <laughs> then she was like, what hair is it? Is it Brazilian? Is it human hair? I was like, yeah, it's human hair. She's like, oh, that's faulty. So I was like, I've heard of this before, but I was just thinking, why does the type of hair I have make a difference, but whatever. So I sat down, I was looking around, and there was a few girls get, waiting to get their eyebrows done and they were looking and they were like... So I was thinking, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Where am I going? <laughs> they were just like looking like, oh, you're going to get your hair done here. So I thought, but I thought, you know what, let me just give it a go. I really want to get my hair done today. So I sat down. She asked me to hold Malcolm on my lap because she wanted to put the buggy away in some corner somewhere. I was like, okay, that's fine. Sat down. Now, bearing in mind, before I left the house, I deep conditioned my hair. I did a light protein treatment. I air dried it and then blow dried it. It was thoroughly detangled. And then all I did after blow drying, I just put it in a bun. Like there was not a single tangle in my hair. I sit down and waiting. This woman comes with the skinniest skinny handle comb I've ever seen. Some bright and luminous yellow comb. And the teeth weren't even all straight. I was just like, um, oh, okay. I was like, okay, it begins. She just starts like combing through my hair. In the beginning, it wasn't too bad. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. All of a sudden, I don't know what got into her. She started combing from like the middle of my hair, just like rough like this. Then I like moved my head and then she's like kind of calmed down a bit. And I was just thinking, my hair's detangled. What are you doing? There's nothing to detangle. But I thought, okay, cool. She didn't do it for too long. Then I thought, okay, cool. So that was that. Then all of a sudden, some man appeared out of nowhere and he was just standing behind me and I could see because I was looking in the mirror. And then she was like, oh, one minute, just wait, just wait. And he was just staring, just staring, just staring. She was like, oh, wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. <clears throat> so I was like, okay. Then um, a couple minutes later, she was just like, oh, one minute. Then she goes off with this guy. She went for about, not five minutes, but a few minutes. Then she came back and I was like, mm, okay, cool. So she started braiding up my hair, it was fine. She asked me if I wanted to leave it out the front. I was like, no, just the middle part. Um, braiding, braiding, braiding. Then her phone starts ringing and she's like, Oh, he's calling again. So she took her phone, went to the side. A couple minutes later, came back, carries on braiding, 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 braiding. Her phone starts ringing again. <laughs> She's like, oh, this man, this man. Took the phone, goes to the side, talking for a bit, came back. I was just like, okay, I was just sitting there to myself. So she finished braiding up my hair. So she took the hair out, started sewing it in. Phone rings again. She goes off on the phone, comes back. I was just like, it's fine. Um, she's so and so and so in. She stabs me in my head with a needle. <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was just like, yeah, it's fine. Then after that, I was kind of like, 
anxious every time she was moving the needle. And then it was fine, fine, fine. Then she stabs me again. She stabbed me like four or five times with this needle in my head. I was just like, no, this is not serious. <laughs> Why is this woman stabbing me in my head? <laughs> Kept apologising, I was like, it's fine. It wasn't fine, but I just said, you know, whatever. You know what kind of place you've gone to, so it's fine. Then she took out her phone again, and she was, I think she was texting the guy. <laughs> Ask me why she's using the needle that <laughs> she was sewing my hair with to type the text message on her phone. I was looking, I was just like, who does that? Who even does that? Do you not just use your hands to type? So then she, yeah, she finished sewing my hair in. Then she got some mousse. And I was like, okay. <laughs> she squirted so much mousse in her hand and some of the mousse went on my top. I looked down and I was like, I just wiped off. By now I was just like, whatever it happens, whatever happens, happens, it's fine. Then she's just smothering it over my hair, through my hair. Um, and the thing is, she didn't part my hair first because the place I usually go to for sewings, they straighten my hair, they flatten my hair, have it all down and then they put a little bit of mousse on, wrap it and then I go under the dryer and that's just to like hold it down. She hadn't flattened anything. I was there. She just finished sewing it in. My hair wasn't even parted. It was to one side and she's smothering it with mousse. She was smothering with mousse. I was just thinking, in my head, I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I keep laughing. There was so much mousse, yeah? I can't express to you how much mousse there was. It was everywhere, all over my head, like foam, yeah? So she smothers it all down, brushes it down flat. I was thinking, why are you brushing it flat? Like, you're not going to part my hair. So she goes in some random drawer, comes out with some tattered, like, black headscarf looking thing. And she put it on my head. I was just thinking, oh, it's on my forehead. Like, I need to wash my face. So she ties it down, puts me under some dryer. And the dryer was so, like, it was just all the way over my face and on my face. So I, I literally had to sit there holding it up off my face. Like, I was just like, okay, cool. So she took me out from under it. And then she starts to part my hair. So I was just thinking, so what was that for? I mean, really, what did it do? It did nothing. And I was thinking... My hair's pretty flat. This is straight hair. Surely she's not gonna put a ton of mousse and then flat iron the hair. She comes back, she parts my hair. She parted my hair about four times. She kept asking me, is that straight? Is that straight? I was thinking. And then she got, you know that, uh, what brand is it? I think it's Icy, that hair gloss. The shiny gloss. She got that all through my hair. I was like, okay. But I was just thinking, really and truly, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so she put all this gloss in my hair. I was like, okay, great. To go and wash it when I get home. But whatever, you know, do your thing. So she straightens it, straightens it, straightens it. Gets to the front, straightens it. <clears throat> and then she's finishing off the front. Why does this woman get sheen spray? She got sheen spray. Sprayed it all up in the front of my face, all over my hair. And then she carried on straight in the front. I was thinking. So, yeah, she did that. And then she brushed it flat again, brushing it, brushing it. And then she got, now this is not to knock anyone that might use glaze, but I stopped using glaze years ago. I despise glaze. It's just so gloopy. Gloopy is the only word I can use to describe it. She got some thick glaze, put it on her luminous yellow comb, start spreading it through, spreading it through, combing, combing my scalp, my edges so hard I had to move back because it actually hurt the way she was combing it. Combing my hair flat, putting it all up in here. Then she got some more sheen spray, sprayed the centre, like literally just like here. It's just sprayed this bit and then she just walked away. I was like, um, so you're finished? <laughs> He's like, yeah. She just wrote out some receipt and said, I'll pay at the front. I was like, okay. <laughs> Listen, it was such an interesting experience. I haven't been to like just a random uh, black hairdressers in ages, like a long time. So I was just like, this, I do not miss this. This is why I stopped going. I was thinking, 
what are you guys doing like are you trained at all the slightest i don't even know she put so much stuff in my hair it's so weighed down so that's it for my rant video i just really needed to get it off my chest it all happened today i came home and i was like no i need to talk to someone about this <laughs> But I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you like my hair anyway, in general. And I will be doing, as I said, a review on this hair. This hair is really, really pretty. It's really nice. When well, it's not weighed down with foam and gloss and sheen spray. <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay blessed.